we don't just shine, we illuminate the whole show. You feel me? We illuminate, we illuminate, we illuminate the whole, the whole, the whole show. We illuminate, we illuminate, we illuminate the whole, the whole, the whole show. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to the first episode of Show Love Share Game Video Podcast. Our first guest today is Senor Fantastico, dope hip hop artist. So why don't you let us know where you're from? I should tell you parts unknown to keep the mystique going with the mask, but you know, I'm from Elizabeth, New Jersey, also known as Eastwick. Word. Um, Jersey all day, you know. Word. Growing up in Eastwick, Jersey, uh, how has that influenced your uh, your music? Yeah, well, uh, all right, so being from Jersey and the part that I'm from, Elizabeth Eastwick, um, we, we, we got a lot of good hip-hop back when hip-hop was coming up. Um, I was younger, hanging out with older people due to my, my sister being older, so I got to be exposed to dope hip-hop. Um, not just the dope hip-hop that was on the radio, but shit that people were blasting their cars that were songs on the album you wouldn't hear that had curses and, and real hard hitting sounds, not just that commercial sound. Gotcha. So, you know, hearing them cars driving by or being in them cars, just, it, it just, it just like awoken a beast in me. Like, yo, I, I love this shit. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I just love this shit. You know? That was a big thing, right? Like, uh, Absolutely. cars riding with the booming systems, right? Mm -hmm. My cousin, uh, rest in peace, Arturo, you know, he put me up on that. He was from Perth Amboy, New Jersey. I remember going under this like bridge and everybody used to go there and crank up their systems, yeah. you know, in their cars. It was freestyle music. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I guess like you said, that's what kind of like, it woke up a beast in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and what are some of your biggest musical influences? Ooh. Uh, which uh, which time which time are we talking about from the beginning? I mean, all I guess time, right now. Good question. I guess what inspired you from the beginning mm. to want to do uh, music? I'm gonna say Rockem. Uh, what was probably the the most uh, inspiring for me as as an MC to want to be an MC because hearing him. And this is no disrespect to anybody because there were so many greats back then. You had Cool G, you had KRS, you had Big Daddy Kane. I mean, the list is endless. Like, there's so many dope MCs at the time. But something about Rakim, man, it was, it, was, it was just next level hearing him speak the way he spoke when he was spitting. Yeah, you know? nah, he, he was, he's, he's dope, bro. Yeah, Rakim. So Rakim, Rakim's dope. He, he, listening to him was, it was, it was third eye opening, you know? And, um... I, I got I gotta say that he's he's the person who made me wanna and, and take it seriously, like, you know, be be respected and, and you know, just be dope and hard, you know? Word. So the eighteenth letter. The eighteenth right? letter, yeah. The R. The R. Yeah, Rock King's dope. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So yeah, hip hop has evolved, right? And you've seen the change, you've seen the uh the growth or whatever you wanna call it. What's your thoughts on it? Uh where it's at now, where it's going. Well, it, that's an interesting question. The answer is not as straightforward as anybody would expect. Um, the great thing is that hip hop still runs the world. It, it, it's become the top tier music in any country. And um, that's great. The bad thing is, I think it's branched off so much that people think hip hop is certain different flavors yeah. um there's different there's different it's it's an umbrella hip-hop is an umbrella and under the umbrella you you'll find your your trap your drill so on and so forth but yeah. at the core what's holding that umbrella is that boom bap hip-hop i feel that hip-hop is in a great place because there's a lot of dope artists out right now you have to look for them you can't and you can't just stick to a certain couple of people that you do get exposed to you gotta yeah. you gotta keep searching there's there's a lot of dope MCs. There's a lot of dope producers. There's a lot of dope DJs. Word. There's a lot of dope yeah. hip hop out there, period. Out there, bro. And, and you can't stay stuck on this one and that one and this one, you know? It's good to listen to everybody on all parts of the umbrella. Yeah. You, want, you want to get some trap. You want to get some drill. You want to get whatever. You want to party, of course. You don't want to all the time, you know, just be like this. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I think, I think uh, hip hop is in a good place. I think, I think we just need to get a little bit more to the root. 
you know? No doubt. No doubt. That's what's up. Outside of music, what are some of your passions or hobbies? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, so so my, my, I think my biggest thing uh, for a long time, the longest time running, has been the action figure collecting. Um, something about the new action figures was nostalgic to, to the 80s, which brings me back to my first love of hip hop. So everything is all hip hop related, right? And um, I have I have everything. I have from Marvel, DC, horror, Star Wars, okay, um, dope, video game, uh, GI Joe's, Thundercats, He Man, Masters of the Universe, you know, um, Ghostbusters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh damn! Like that is all that eighty yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Independent dope. comic books. I mean, just the action figures in general. You know, being being young, loving hip hop, and having action figures and and growing up at the time that I did, it, it's, it's all nostalgia. It's all, you know, yeah. it's all related, you know? Yeah. At least to me, it's all, it, it all comes together. So um, action figure collecting, comic Real, book. So before you, you move on from the action figures, mm -hmm. uh, you remember the, um, the Green Army Men yeah. with a parachute wrapped around them? Yeah. They didn't move, so they weren't like action figures. But you mm -hmm. remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that yeah. going to, as a kid, you know, going to like a little bodega, and they used to mm -hmm. have them there. Yeah. You know, that was like... My toy growing up, you listen, know. Listen, yeah. that was the shit. Word. If you you Word. had the motherfucker on on the parachute, yeah. And I lived on the second floor of my building. Oh, bro, bro. yeah. Yo, B, yeah. go down there. Bombs away, bro. Bombs away. Yeah. You come upstairs yeah, now. Yeah. You you know. Word. Simple shit, but it yeah, was yeah, great yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Absolutely. Those little green army man with his shit. You Absolutely. Know? Yeah. And then you were saying also comic books. Oh yeah, yeah, comic books. Comic reading comic books. books yeah. Um, you know, um, looking at the art you know the way the way different artists their yeah. renditions of characters are because they're not there's not a standard where like all right this is how incredible hulk looks all the time there's, you got different people you know who draw yeah. them differently and it's just it just blows my mind that everybody's not trying to be like each other and it's, it's cool to be yourself and okay. make your art how you create it word you know word yeah i fucks with it mm -hmm. and then also hats right you do collect hats mm -hmm. a particular yeah. type of hat yeah yeah mets mets hats all Mets. all Mets hats, uh, Mets minor league hats. So, you know, sometimes you might see me with a hat that you don't think it's a Mets hat, but it is a Mets hat. That one that you brought in today, was that a, was that oh, a Mets hat? That's a Mets hat, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that one on the yeah. table, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you want me to pick yeah, it up yeah. and show it? Show the camera. Back to me. There you go, yeah. Yeah, all right. So the symbol right here is a symbol for Mercury, uh, planet Mercury. And uh, there was a time where, I don't know if you see the side, it says the Mets on it. And this one comes from... Uh, the seven, the seven line army. Bro, bring it back towards you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, right there, right this there. This one comes from the seven train. Uh, no doubt. Seven train line, which they they dedicated to Mets and you know Mets merchandise and and they show up to uh, Mets games at every stadium all across the you know the 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 country um, and they go hard. They 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 wear the specific you know shirts and hats and everything and and it's pretty dope. Okay, dope. And uh, so tell us a little bit about your mask. Oh. So what's up with the mask? All right, so being as though, you know, I go by Señor Fantástico, right? Uh, it's only right to have a luchador mask, right? I mean, um, when I spit, it's not necessarily how I feel, the things I say. It's, it's me. I'm, I'm, I'm under a mask, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm already in a mask when I'm in the booth. I'm, I'm telling you a story. I'm, I'm playing a part, sort of like an actor in a movie. And... Um, you know, this mask in general, this, this, this mask specifically, just, it called me, called me just like hip hop called me, just like action figures called me. Stop. Something about this specific mask is just like, this is me right here. This, this, this is me as an MC. And uh, I, started, I started collecting these. Um, I got a few, few different masks, different, different color yeah. variations, you know. Nah, no doubt, bro. Variant versions. And that shit's dope. That shit's dope. I like the color way on it, you know, the black, the thank white. You. It's got the gold. Mm -hmm. That shit's dope, bro. Different yeah. textures. All right, that's what's up. Yeah. Señor Fantástico. All right, so last question. Mm -hmm. If you knew for a fact that you only had like two weeks to live, what would you do? I'd definitely be grateful for every day, every day I have left. That's, that's the only thing I can guarantee. I'd be grateful for every day. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm going to wild out and get revenge on nobody because that's not, that's not what life's about, yeah. at least not to me. Word. Um, you know. I'd, I'd, I'd enjoy my family and friends, you know? Wow. Even, I, I might not tell anybody. I'll, yeah. just, I'll just try to enjoy it, you know? Yeah. Nah, that's what's up, bro. That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's a dope answer, bro, because, you know, yeah, a lot of people would be like, you know, 
yo, I'm wilding out, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, you know. So that's a very genuine and very humble and uh, a very dope answer, bro. Mm-hmm. I, I, I appreciate you. that, and that's what's up. Well, there is one thing I would do that's probably shitty, right? <laughs> I'm saying it's always got to be right. one thing. It's got one thing. It's got to be one thing. I'm not going to work for those last two oh, weeks. That's, it's that's over. it. Yeah, it's over. You know, it's like, hey, yeah, I'm, a, yeah. I'm not gonna come in. Nope. You know, sick time. Yeah, right. <laughs> not even sick time. I quit, bitch. <laughs> well, you never know, man. What if they were wrong? That <laughs> you got to go back. You got to go back to work on. on oh, on if something goes wrong, right? All if of a sudden, don't... you live. Shit. You know, I got I got bills to pay. Yeah, yeah, you know, so. yeah. Word. But, Word. Uh, yeah, that would probably be the only shitty thing I'll do. I won't go to work. I'm not gonna. No doubt, bro. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Senor Fantastico, thank you for coming through. We appreciate your time. We appreciate your talent, which we're now going to showcase him. We're going to um, put on a beat that was produced by you, True. right? True. And, um, and we're going to see him do his thing. So, uh, again, thank you for joining us. Show love, share game. Till next time. But before we leave... You know, I saw you came in with the mask. You know, I wanted to do something in, in honor of you because, you know, it is October and uh, Halloween's approaching. So, you know, let's, let's all put on a mask here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's play a game. That's fire, bro. We don't just shine. We illuminate the whole show. You feel me? We illuminate. We illuminate. We illuminate the whole, the whole, the whole show. I might be broke, broke, but my music is dope. Whether grimy or dirty, sounding or cleaner than soap. Corny music's a note, that's a slippery slope. The way fantastic, bless mics, you think I'm the Pope. Grab them seeds by the pussy, but no 45 coat. No time to kid around, cause I'm fully adult. I need therapy, with beats I consult. But I turn to Mr. Hyde and sees I bully as a result. Punch in with rhymes, punch out with the slickest of punchlines. I spike them at the dancers, worth some fun time. But now I'm older and I'm colder, plus I'm sober with a boner. Don't overthink it if you catch me drinking a Corona. While in Queens, on my way to flush and watch my favorite team. Players of Royal Flush, fuck cancer and fuck some royalties. I make art from the heart, not for some suit to make majority of the motherfucking cream. OR oh, is the team, organized rhyme, got the scheme. Freddy Cougar better not sleep on me, I give him bad dreams. Chasing Jason around the lake on Friday the 13th. Slap the shat and the mask off Mike Myers, make Chucky to a mini me. Why you scream? Rakim made me a microphone fiend since he drugged me in 86 with Eric B. My style's funky, ultra magnetic MC. Raising hell, license the ill, I'm a beast boy the way I run these MCs. I'm a titan, but no, I'm not a teen. Make your neck jerk, no cartoon network when I'm on the scene. Bill Bixby don't wanna piss me off cause I don't have to turn green I'm two and a half men with tiger blood like Charlie Sheen You know I'm the man with the van like 18 Crush a woman on a Wednesday cause you're sweeter than baked beans She'll get the hot dog in the bun she can taste me You call me crazy but kiss her after she ate my glizzy that's all beef